Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we are testing every single mask on Amazon. And today we're testing B Bond Care? Eh, okay, let's put it in the clamper. Bone care would be better. I'm gonna care for my bones. So this comes, looks like, <laughs> that's weird. 15 and it's 30 in a bag and it's 15. Um, so these are claiming to be KN95s. I can tell you already that uh, they are not. And I'll tell you about that in a sec here. The clamper on there and let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. This does the N95 test. And what it will tell you is if this mask, I know it's not an N95, but if it will pass the KN95 standard. Now I can already tell by looking really just at the listing. Right on here, you're gonna see the picture of the mask. And it's missing a couple things. If you wanna be a legitimate KN95, you gotta have three things. You gotta have the standard, which is a GB2626, 2019 is the most recent one. And this one is 2019, it says so right there. And you've gotta say KN95 and you gotta say the manufacturer's name. Now this manufacturer is called the Guangdong Zizen Biological Medicine Co. Now it could be that they just ran out of characters on this, because that's a long name. Um, but I think what's more likely is that they were really in love with bone care, bond care, James Bond care. I don't know. Um, and uh, they, they didn't want to, you know, ruin that effect when they put on the mask. Um, either way, it's against the standard. Uh, and when I find that people are not meeting the standard for something simple, like putting their name on the mask, they oftentimes don't meet the standard when it comes to things like what this machine test. But I'm only doing one test. There's actually about seven tests you have to do to pass the K95 standard. Let's do a smell test. This smells like burning plastic, you know, hot burning plastic. Um, but the ear loops, it fits really well. It's good construction. It could hold up, a, you know, something heavy. It's late in the day, running out of fun metaphors. But does that matter if it doesn't protect you? Let's check out the machine. 99.65, 99.65 with 122 pascals of breathability. Anything below 150 is pretty good on the breathability standpoint, but 122, that's really good. The best I've seen, you know, for this style of mask is under 100, but 122 is good. Pretty good mask, bone care, bond care, James Bond care, whoever you are, whatever your name really is. You did a pretty good job. Not gonna, not gonna fault you for that. Still, there are probably other masks that I would uh, recommend just because they're actually following the KN95 standard, which these guys are claiming for. So if uh, you know, you've enjoyed this, and this has been great for you, give me a big, uh, big like or thumbs up. And if not, you can give me a thumbs down. Let's do this. That's an option, right? Oh, shit. You can say thumbs down? Whoa. Wow. You learn something new every day. I'll catch you on the next test.